let's drop the fire on their head. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Man, and today we've got a juicer for you. We got Is It Dragons. No one's really playing dragons anymore, and I don't know why. They're still a very, very good deck, very, very fun deck. We got Town Razor Tyrant, the Almighty. We've got Infernal Star Mouse. We pretty much got all of these big, scary dragons. We got Ghostman Dragon. Even though this is nerfed in Alchemy, it's going to be okay because in Alchemy, we still have Divide by Zero, which lets us get to our sideboard. We still got Molten Impact with the new cards, Orb of Dragon Kind, and Fearsome Welp, which lets us get into our big dragons earlier. So let's see if we can just take these big dragons. Let's see if we can just beat our opponent's face in. I love the dragons. I hope you do too. But before we get into the content, make sure to leave a like. The button looks just like this. It helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and subscribe. And let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Crixitus, how are we doing here? Interesting little name there. Let's go ahead and keep this. Not sure what we're playing against here. So they got the uh, this is like for the Rahilda sleeves. Hmm. Do you want to keep the disruption, the spike field hazard? I guess we have Orb of Dragon Kind, so it's more important that we just go for that. Let's just go for the Storm Carved Coast. No, 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 no. I guess we'll just drop this. Because we're going to be on the offensive with the Orb of Dragon Kind turn two, then turn three, we're going to go for Town Razor Tyrant. We want to just be offensive. We're not worried about the Jawari right now. Den of the Bugbear. Okay, oh, I don't have my alternate art on. I forgot to apply the sleeve. That is uh, annoying. But either way, let's go for the Orb of Dragon Kind. We'll be able to drop this Town Razor Tyrant, and I know they're not going to like that. And this Spike Field Hazard is going to take away a lot of their targets. They've got, I'm assuming this is the Sanguine Brushstroke deck, so we can take away um, a lot of different things here. Well, they're an Epic here. Okay. Ouchie. Down to 17. A little early there, but that's okay. That's okay. As long as they don't get that stupid Anvil. The Anvil card is the big problem. So let's drop the Storm Card Coast. Drop our lovely Town Razor Tyrant. Town Razor Tyrant, still pretty good. Still pretty good. This is going to resolve. We're going to take away their Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So we got Town Razor Tyrant takes away the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So Tyrant's everywhere. Tyrant's everywhere, but ours are more important. This one's going to come in tapped, which is really nice. Don't you dare touch my Tyrant. Don't you dare Vaulted Surge. Yeah, Vaulted Surge is really good. Vaulted Surge is very, very good. Okie dokie. We're, we're going to be a little bit off of being able to play uh, Inferno. So, man, this is kind of rough here, because now, let's see, we deal two damage. Oh, we get the Blazing Sky, which is absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and go right into this thing. Right into the beautiful Blazing Sky. And, um, I guess we'll just play this. Or, we want to kind of keep this. No, we want to make sure that we can get into Inferno of the Star Mounts next turn. So, I'm going to play this for red. And let's take a Scry action. Let's see what we can get. Another spike field hazard. That is actually pretty interesting. Um, I think we're gonna keep it. I think this this deck plays so many um like one ones and stuff. So if we can like just start exiling and killing their blood um their blood artists, I think that's gonna be what we want to do. So there it is. So there it is. There's the sanguine brushstroke, the very annoying bl uh, blood artists. But that's why we keep the, these spike field hazards. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We're gonna be able to um to get rid of these things. So, is the Val Valdaren Epicure going to attack? They are. They are. And, um... I think it's still pretty much better to block. I know that we, we're going to lose one, and then we're going to lose one from the Blood Artist. I think it's still better to block, though. I mean, at least they don't have that. Yeah, I want to take one damage anyway. I, in this case, I still think it's better to block. Take your damage, Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Take your damage, and there's our spike field hazard. Here's the thing, though. I think we're still better off just dropping this for red. That's fine. Um, then we'll have two spike field hazards. I think we're just better off doing this. Let's drop the fire on their head. Inferno of the star mounts. We've got 10 damage coming at your face. 10 damage in your face. Boom, boom. So that, that takes them down to seven, and we might not even have to use these spike field hazards. We have such a good matchup versus this deck because not only are we running the spike field hazards, but all of our damage is up in the air, so they can do whatever they want on the ground. All of our damage is coming through the air. They have no way to block it. And yeah, so sitting pretty good here. <laughs> so they're probably thinking here, yeah, I think what they uh, 
Slackens and Crucible Defiance, that's fine. So they're going to come close to tapping out, and they're going to swing in here. That is not going to be enough. That, hey, that is fine. Fine with me. Do your worst. 10 damage. 7. That is going to be it. They're in pretty much checkmate. There's no way they can swing this. So Blood Token, we're going to lose a little life. That is going to be okay. Our dragons come out on top, baby. And that's going to be it. Good game, Crixitus. Rita is RD. How are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this sucker. Looks pretty good. I got to get this alternate R on the den of the bugbear. It always, it's throwing me off. It's throwing me off really badly. So, okay, Frida's. We have the Orb of Dragon Kai. We do have our Jawari. Jawari would have been really nice on turn two. Or turn before turn two. Because now we are in an awkward spot here. So now we gotta make a decision. Do we wanna go for Orb of Dragon Kind? I always opt to go for Orb of Dragon Kind if I can. I think it's just stronger. Because you theoretically get to ramp up one for your dragons. So yeah, we need to what? Counter Rangers class? Yeah, that's just gonna be a no-go for me. So we're gonna go ahead and forego the Jawari altogether now. We're gonna drop the fearsome whelp. Swing on in, and hopefully, if this thing lives, we get to make three dragons in our hand cheaper, which is gonna be absolutely great but i'm not holding my breath because we got red here yeah they're already targeting it but it is what it is usually it doesn't live the majority of the time it doesn't but we can still go for a uh, galazath prismari 18 19 i don't think that's that bad i think we're still sitting pretty okay again we just need the land right now so jawari the counter stuff is going to be out the window for now let's go in for galazath prismari we do get a treasure token that goldspan dragon will be able to uh, kick up, so that's really fun. Halana and Elena, oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. That is a problem. This thing's gonna have to die pretty quickly. So this thing also has reach, so that is going to be problematic. We get an Orbit Dragon Kind. I'm gonna go for Goldspan Dragon. Yeah, let's go for Goldspan Dragon, and then we have um, Dragon's Fire, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and swing in with our mighty, mighty dragons. Sarkhan would be so proud of us. And yeah, we're just gonna go bang bang. And then both these treasures give us, gives us two. So I'm gonna drop Dragon's Fire on, uh, it doesn't really matter, they're tapped out, right? So we don't really have to worry about that. Oh, what in the, whoa, whoa. Okay, so it, that is so frustrating. It gave us uh, Galazas ability at all of our mana can tap for one. So it gave us Galazath's ability rather than being able to drop this Orb of Dragon Kind, which is very annoying. But they swing in. Wow, down to five. Um, well, we're going to be able to... Okay, so that was the game, right? So we're going to go ahead and drop Inferno of the Star Mounts. And I want to drop this for red. Let's not make the same mistake this time. And our opponent was very aggro, but we are also very aggro. And it is what it is. We're going to swing in here with Inferno of the Star Mounts. We're going to have just enough power to get into this and yeah double red not prismari i love you prismari i do but we definitely need this power here and we'll drop this and um drop uh drop this for red here we go red red bang i know it sounds a little bit confusing we're just gonna get all the power up here we might as well take all of it there it is good game frida's good game Mark, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. We got some big scary dragons, or at least one. That'll be okay. Let's go for Forsaken Crossroads. Let's see what we got started. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Another land? I guess we need at least one more land to feel comfortable. Plus, if the spike field hazard is no good, we'll see. We'll see what we got going on. Oh, we're going against Dreaded? Dreaded Redded. So, hmm, okay. I guess we'll drop this. Yep, and then we'll have Spike Field Hazard up. Hopefully they don't under hopefully they don't um well I don't even know. I don't really know. I'm just scared. Undercity Plunder is the scariest thing ever. So they don't they go for a Blood Tithe Harvester, which is still pretty bad. I guess we can just go ahead and uh yeah, let's just go ahead and get you right now. Harvester's still annoying. So is this like the uh the artifact deck I I'm assuming? I'm assuming. Let's just go for Orb Dragon Kind. That way we can go into Goldspan Dragon next turn. And we might be we might be in luck. We might be in luck here. So I'm assuming this is what the Anvil deck. Sanguine Brushstroke, so that is actually no problem. That is why we are running the Spike Field Hazard. 
We can just go ahead and do this, and because it gets exiled, we don't even lose any life. How great is that? Exile, get out of here. Get out of here, you're sleeping with the fishies. Let's drop this, we go for a gold span dragon, and things are, things are looking pretty good. You gotta love that animation. That animation just never gets old. I do wish that wizards still had a lot of their animations. I feel like they've like, kind of like, they don't really have a whole lot of animations anymore, which kind of makes me sad. I feel like they've kind of done away with that. I feel like, like in Kamigawa at least, they didn't have a whole, whole lot. So we're gonna get rid of our Molten Impact, it's not great, but guess what? All of our stuff flies, and we have another dragon off the top of the rip. We get a Sushi, the Blazing Sky. How awesome is that? We get Treasure Tokens. Uh, actually a minor misplay on my part, because then we could have used Orb of Dragon Kind. So that was actually, we got, we got a little bit too comfy. We got a little bit too comfy there, that was uh, my bad. So we don't get the extra Orb of Dragon Kind, but we can get it next turn, so it's not the end of the world, but, you know. Ticky tack there. So let's see what you got going on here. This is alchemy, so Goldspan Dragon does not get the boost from the um, the target if we get targeted. So there we go. We don't get the we don't get that, which is okay though. It's not the end of the world. And there's the anvil. There is the little anvil that I hate so much. This is oh, it's so annoying. The good news is that oh, we have everything that flies, so obviously we're gonna be okay there, most likely. We do get another sushi. Okay, so this is so this is like a catch twenty-two. It's pretty good because we can use this a sushi. This is why the, the, this is a good card because if you run mul multiple, if you play this, you get the trigger. You get to exile the top two until the next turn. You get to play those. So I'm actually gonna do that. Well, let's go ahead and play with fire here. Let's go ahead and keep you and exile the top two. We're gonna we're gonna have two turns to be able to play this. So. Awesome. That's a divide by zero and a town razor tyrant. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and just end the turn here. So now until the again, it's not the not this turn, it's until the end of your next turn, which is very, very cool. So I'm trying to think here. If they've got like a meat hook massacre, I don't want to play into this, so I don't want to play into the meat hook massacre, but I also don't want to take damage. So if we die, we get treasure tokens, right? I think we'll just let it go. It's not really worth saving one damage. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Whatever. Go down to 11. It could be the, the the difference between life and death in this deck, though. So that's why it is a little nerve-wracking. I guess I'm like... They don't they don't have a, a Mihook Massacre, right? We're being a little bit too scared. Maybe we should have blocked. That was... Maybe, maybe we should have blocked. That was some chicken stuff there. So Deadly Dispute is just such a good card. Let's see what they got going on here. We can always make treasure tokens, or we can exile the top two. Not really sure, but it's looking pretty good, like we're going to survive. Maybe. Deadly Dispute again. Okay, so they're just drawing all the cards in the world. Slowly trickling down our life total, which is really annoying. I would love to get into a nice gold span dragon. That would be nice. Hopefully they don't get into a Voltage Surge. A Voltage Surge kills our Tsushi, and then we're put in a really, really tough spot. So Miha Massacre for zero. That's actually fine. Okay. So now they can use Ani Cult Anvil, and they gain what? Okay, so they have another Ani Cult Anvil. Are they going to blow us up here? We So we need to get into a Gold Span Dragon. So 8-8. Eight, so eight, eight. They can still kill us here gain one life okay well, let's go ahead and use this we need a gold span dragon or an inferno of the star mounts and then a land i don't know hey we're feeling lucky let's see what we got orb of dragon kind we need some haste action here we do get the inferno of the star mounts so we're gonna need a top deck of actually of the land's not gonna be good enough land's probably not gonna be good enough so we'll go for inferno of the star mounts here Come on, land. We need a land. This cuz last we get <laughs> no no Oh no We're gonna give him a crying. Oh it's so sad. Oh it's just so so sad. We we're gonna lose now. Yeah, that's for sure game. Okay. I hate this deck so much. The anvil is so gross. We're going to swing in here. We don't have enough for lethal, so we can't swing in with the whelp. Oh my god, what a nightmare. 
There's no way out of this. Divide by zero doesn't get us out of here. We'll drop the Town Razor Tyrant, but yeah, it's going to be game over, I think. Because we're going to drop this for... Um, the Anvil can... If they maybe okay, they didn't use the anvil on their end step on one of these, which is in my opinion the misplay, but I still don't think it really matters here. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. But again, the Mihook Ma I guess I think it's because it's the it's the Mihook massacres that are really gonna do us in. Maybe not though, let's go down to six. We get They gain a life. They still have the Ani Call Anvil, so maybe maybe I don't know. Uh, maybe? Maybe we can survive this? I forgot that they don't have the blood arch. Now, we take it. Oh my, I should have I should have been so salty. We, we take it. Wow. Hark again. So we get paired up with Hark again. Probably like not even, even playing alchemy at this point, which is probably why we just get paired together. But we're going to ignore that fact. We get Haunted Rage. So I already know that we are playing against the Anvil deck, so we're going to keep the Spike Field Hazard. That's going to be one of the most important cards in our deck. Let's go for Forsaken Crossroads. I guess I would just like some land. Ooh, Infernal the Star Mounts. That's going to be good. Uh, yeah, I think we'll keep it. I think we'll keep it. We're going to use that later. We'll have Galazath. Okay. Hopefully no Anvil, though. <laughs> Anvil is the scariest thing, and they don't, so I'm assuming they probably just have some sort of removal, which is going to be okay. I'm going to drop this for red. We'll drop the Fearsome Welt. Swing on in. And, wow, okay. So, if this thing gets to live, we're going to be able to steamroll them. And we already got the best of them our last match. So, hopefully... Oh, oh yes. We are looking pretty good here. We're looking pretty good. Everything is going to get nice and cheap here. We do need a blue source. So, let's go ahead and do that. And do we want to go for the... Do we want to go for Prismari or do we want to go for a Sushi? I guess we'll go for... A sushi makes treasure tokens, which is pretty cool. I guess we'll go f Yeah, I guess we'll just go for this. I guess so. We'll swing on in here. And we're looking really good in this matchup. So hopefully we can go 2-0 on Hark and their stupid Anvil tokens. Because Anvil is so, so good. I do like the deck, though. It's fun to play. So I can't really blame people for playing it. City Soccer Connoisseur. That is unfortunate. They're going to get rid of our Inferno of the Star Mounts. So... That is a big momentum swing here. We do get a divide by zero, which is nice. I'm gonna play yes. Let's um let's play the Prismari. Create a treasure token, and now we we can either go for spike field hazard or divide by zero. Down to 13, and now we got a lot of board presence out here. Let's go ahead and end the turn. And that treasure token by Galazath is gonna make us divide by zero. So, no, we can't use that on that. That doesn't make any sense, so. Voltage Surge. Oh, Voltage Surge is so bad. But here's the cool part. They only, they need a red source for this. If we use Divide by Zero on this Voltage Surge, they're not going to be able... They're not going to be able to replay it. Unless I'm crazy. Which I am a little crazy. Molten Impact. Whoa. Where, hold on, what are, you, what are you doing here? Why Why didn't you target a, a creep? A, that's confusing to me. Okay, we'll just divide by zero, I guess. Um, I'm just confused. Why, why did they target the Fearsome Wealth? That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, seven is not enough yet for lethal, so I guess we'll just go for teachings, I guess. I just don't, I don't understand. So there's the red, okay. So, okay, I, I man, I gotta keep better track of that. Well, I, I figured they didn't play their, their land drop here, but, um, so they can still go for a voltage surge. Okay, okay. So we lose one life with the blood artist here. And that's probably should do it for their turn. Yeah, they're gonna swing in. 15 to 14. Don't have anything, unfortunately, for the Fearsome Welt to ramp up into. So let's go ahead and drop this. Um, I think this is a pretty safe time to go for Teachings. So let's go for Teachings here. We do get the draw. We get our just Warrior Disruption. And we can go for Divide by Zero as well. So I think, um, yeah, I think we just kind of swing in here. Taking away some damage. 
And we can either go for Divide by Zero, Spike Field Hazard. Divide by Zero is not really the best thing right now, though. That's because all of the things are so cheap. Like, just all, all of their stuff is just so cheap. So it's not really the best thing to Divide by Zero. Synthesizer. And they still have this Molten Impact, which is kind of scary. Meat Hook Massacre. I kind of hope they go for Meat Hook Massacre over the Molten Impact. So they do. They go for Meat Hook Massacre. Okay. For zero. Okay. So if they go for Molten Impact here, I can Jawari Disruption them, actually. So Molten Impact, yeah, they are tapped out, right? No other sources of mana. I'm going to go for straight for this Jawari Disruption. No way. No way. So we're looking pretty good here. They're swinging in with the Connoisseur. I'm, we're going to take that. That's fine. And now we can go for Spike Field Hazard on this Blood Artist. Bang! Get this out of here. Get it out of here. And we exile it, so no loss of uh, land or, or uh, land. Well, no loss of anything. Another Spike Field Hazard. We can go for another Teachings, which is kind of cool. I think we're going to do that. I'm going to swing in here. And, uh, gosh, how do we want to play this? We can use Divide by Zero. But I don't really want to give them another Connoisseur. So, we Divide by Zero on... I don't want to give them another Blood Artist either, but... I guess we just do it on the Sanguine. I don't really care about a, that much about a blood, another Blood Artist, so I guess we'll, we'll do that. We have another Spike Field Hazard. We'll get another Teachings. And let's go ahead and play this. Draw more cards. Not really the best draw. Not really the best draws here, though. If they want to, yeah, if they want to sink more mana into this brush stroke, I think we can, I think we can live with that. Another Molten Impact, that is a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Dang, okay, we're going to have to use this. The treasure tokens don't do us a whole lot of good. We do get another Blazing Sky, which is good. Okay, down to eight we go. Okay, we're going to have to play the Blazing Sky. We can go for Molten Impact. We have to play this right now. So I'm going to go for Molten Impact on the Blood Artist. And then we can use Spike Field Hazard to kill the Connoisseur. We want to kill the Blood Artist first. So we got three left over with the Molten Impact. We can drop this. Use the Spike Field Hazard to kill the Connoisseur when the time comes. I think we're just going to do it now. I don't, I don't see how it could be uh, wrong to do this. So let's just go ahead and hit them their face. We're going to lose a little, little bit of life here. And swing in here. Okay. Five to five. They can use the blood. They can use the two blood tokens to make us lose two life. I'm scared of an anvil. If they don't have an anvil, we'll probably be okay. A brush stroke. Oh, if they have a land, this is it. If they have another land, they will have just enough. Oh, no. Because they have got three. This can deal us four damage. We'll be down to one, right? Okay. Oh, no land. If they just get a land, it's over. Oh, no. Oh, come on. This is it. This is it, folks. We're down to one life. If they draw... No, they draw a whole land. No. No. It's over. Good game. So, Hark... Hark gets their rematch and they take us out. Unfortunate, but at least it was entertaining. Wow. Wow. So we're back here at Man of Manor with the post-game rep, and I just gotta say that um, this deck was really, really awesome. I don't know what was going on, but I figured that it should not have been a problem. I think we are running, what, 21 lands, or 21, yeah, 21 hard lands, 4 disruption, 3 spike field hazards, and Forsaken Crossroads, so you can scry to get some more land. But it just felt like we were um, clogged up a lot of the time during while I was recording. I don't know, maybe you want to kick up the lands even a little further, maybe it was just variance, I don't know. But either way, that was my main concern. I thought with Divide by Zero, Environmental Sciences, but 
Either way, there's a lot of times, I mean, I th you maybe just want to kick up the land a little bit, just a little bit. But other than that, this deck was very, very fun. I know we had that loss at the end, which is just brutal, losing to the Anvil. But the Anvil, man, Anvil is so, so good. It's a very, very good deck, so I can't be that mad. But this deck was, this deck was very competitive. I think this is about as competitive as Is It Dragons is going to be, or just Dragons in general. Um, maybe just take the just warrior disruption for a spike field hazard. Maybe just hit an even four on this. But either way, that is the deck. I hope you enjoyed it. The dragons are always a fun deck to play, and they're still very good. So feel free to play them. They they are very good in alchemy. Obviously, the economy is not the best, but it is what it is. Go ahead and leave me a like. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. Tell me how ugly I am. Just do something that helps out the algorithm. I really appreciate all of you. But until the next episode, mana man, out.